I want to express great appreciation. We're at the end of the year. Next week we will enter 2021. <sighs> there is no doubt that 2020 was, uh, is, I should say, an extremely difficult year. This has been, folks, just uh, an amazing time. I turned 55. I know looking at your uh, you know, computer screen, you can't believe it looking at this youthful baby face of mine. Don't you laugh, booby. I don't need you laughing. Uh, but I turned 55 in September, and I can tell you that at 55, I have never experienced anything like what we've gone through this year. This has really been a tremendously difficult time. But you know, the man who sits in the White House, I refuse to refer to him as president, but the man who sits in the White House has not said some things that I want to say to you, and that is this, we are Americans. And as Americans, we have the ability to endure together any trial, any hardship that might come upon us. Mm -hmm. Folks, uh, this nation could have been, should have been wiped out many, many times over the last 200 and some odd years. And yet the resolve and the resilience of the American people has always shown through. We were attacked at Pearl Harbor and the greatest part of our Navy was wiped out. And all of a sudden we were pulled into World War II. As anyone who knows history knows, uh, the leadership of our nation was desperately trying to prevent uh, Hitler and Mussolini and other dictators around the world from pulling us into a full-blown world war. We were trying to support other nations as they fought, but uh, President Roosevelt was trying to keep us from entering into what would become a full-blown world war if the United States were engaged as well. And yet uh, the Japanese attacked our naval base at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, and we were pulled into the war whether we wanted to be there or not. And it is amazing, we forget how many sacrifices our ancestors, and not, not even our ancestors, but our families, you know, our grandparents and great-grandparents, we forget how many sacrifices they made for the war effort. Um, for many, many years, there were many things that Americans could not do. There were many things Americans could not readily buy. There were many things that Americans had to do without. Uh, they had to do without things related to rubber because they needed every ounce of rubber they could get for the war effort. They had to do without new cars and, you know, refrigerators and things of this nature because metal steel was needed in the war effort. Uh, there were food shortages. You know, the Great Depression was in full-blown uh, mode when we first entered the war. So, I mean, this is not the first time that we've had calamity upon calamity upon calamity. You know, uh, when we were pulled into World War II, as I say, they were dealing with far more than just one matter, one issue. It wasn't just the war, but there was also the whole issue of the Depression. And the nation was spending itself into oblivion. We were spending ourselves into debt, trying desperately, bless his heart, FDR, trying desperately to put men to work, to feed their families, and to provide, you know, uh, for individuals in our nation. But you know what? We not only made it, but we prevailed. Hallelujah. With the help and grace of God, we not only survived World War II, we not only survived the Great Depression, but we prevailed and we were able to come out of that experience 
And we were able to uh, become one of the greatest, strongest, richest, most prosperous nations on the face of planet Earth. I've got news for you today. I wish we had a president that would speak like this to the American people, but we have an infantile jackass who will not. But I want to tell you today, as a man of God, that we will prevail. Hallelujah. We will not only survive this terrible time going through pandemic, going through economic uh, difficulty that literally is, is mirroring the Great Depression. Not only will we survive this, it, it's a temporary difficulty, but we will prevail. And those of you who are suffering today, those who are really struggling today, I just want to remind you, I just want to encourage you to understand this. And I speak this to you prophetically today. The sun is coming up in the morning. Hallelujah. Every tear will be dried from our eyes. At the darkest hour of midnight, When everything is pitch black and you can't see, as the old saying goes, the forest for the trees, we always know in the back of our mind that sunrise is coming. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you today, for everything you're going through right now, sunrise is coming. The morning is coming. Hallelujah. And things are going to get better. This, I'm not just saying you know, phrases to try to encourage you. That, that's not it. This is the truth. It never goes dark forever. The sun comes up. It never gets cold forever. Winter turns to spring. Hallelujah. It never is miserable and terrible forever. Things always change. If there's anything I've learned about life, and I've told you, I, I try to be a very transparent person, sometimes to my own detriment. I've been suicidal in my life. I've, I've gone through times of great depression. I've experienced, especially early in my life, I've, I've experienced some very dark times. And I have come to the place where I felt like the only option I had, the only good answer I had was death, you know. And I look back at it now and I realize, dear God, how foolish and how stupid I was. In that hour of bleakness, in that hour of blackness, when everything just looked so terrible, I couldn't see any way out. I, I could not possibly imagine things ever getting any better. But you know what? They did. If my life had ended at that early age, there's so much that I would never have seen. I would have gone to my grave believing that the best life had for me is what I had been handed up until that moment. But you know what? That isn't true. That isn't true. Things change. I know that phrase just sounds empty when you're depressed. Somebody today is struggling. I feel this in my spirit. God's speaking to me. Somebody is struggling. You're really struggling emotionally, psychologically, mentally, spiritually. You are struggling. And this is what the Spirit of the Lord's laid on my heart for you, you today. But I want you to understand Nothing stays the same. That is the nature of life. That is the nature of our world. Everything changes. There are days when there are no flowers on the plant, and there are other days when the plant is loaded with flowers. There are days when you can't get a plant to grow in the soil out in the field because temperatures are too low. Snow is falling. Ice is coming down. Conditions are not uh, conducive 
to growth. But you know what? Spring comes, the soil warms, the sun comes out, the rains come. And all of a sudden, that same soil that a few months ago you couldn't have planted anything in and had it survive, all of a sudden you're able to plant stuff in that same soil and it springs up and it brings you fruit. Amen. It brings uh, vegetables. It brings food. Honestly, folks, listen to me. Don't let the devil lie to you and tell you that things are not going to change. Things change. That is the nature of life. It's going to get better. I can't promise you it'll happen tomorrow, but I can promise you it'll happen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So